I'm going to remove the grill today. I want to paint this uh, like a charcoal gray. I think this might be down to the primer. It looks really light. And I got two damaged horizontal moldings. Looks like the grill assembly is attached to the car with uh, 10 8 millimeter uh, screws. There's one, two, three on each side. And then there's screws up in here. There's one there. That's what that cutout's for. Cut out there. And there's one on each end. And you gotta go through that hole to get to it. Not on there very tight. Okay, looks like I just have to squeeze these pins in. Yeah. And then pour it from the other side. There we go. Okay, it should come off now. Yep, there it is. I'm going to remove the insert from the frame. So I'll start with that one. There's a Phillips on each side of these buffers, and then an 8 millimeter right in the center by the star dish. You got the buffers out and there's six of these metal clips. I just kind of pop them out with a screwdriver and a hammer. This one on the bottom doesn't have the cutout that this one has on the top. And you can see it's slightly, the top is smaller than that one. And this one way on the top is real long compared to the others. Got all the clips out, and the insert should just pop out. Like that. You just pry up that end, and you just pull it straight back. That's got a channel on it, so let me see if I can do that. Well, the replacement molding is longer than the original. Plus, the original's got a crease right down the center, and this one's just like half round. It does fit though. I slid this one on. I mean, I could measure these, cut them, and then put that crimp on right there. I'd have to get six of these though, and I don't know, maybe I can find the original. I'm going to go online and see what I can find out. Okay, that's the part number, and it is correct. I looked it up. This is the brand I bought, BBR. They're like $4.75. They got Euro, which I don't like, and it's the same price. And then they got the original Mercedes, but they're, you know, quite a bit more expensive. But I thought if it matches, I would get them, but they don't. Here's the pictures. It's the same part number, and it's the same one I got. It's uh, round on top. They don't have that crease through it anymore. Okay, this is the center molding, and it's no longer available. And I can't bend the other one, plus this one's thicker, and it's wider. You can see all the white specks. Starting with 80 grit. I got all the scratches out. I put a scotch bright and then steel wool. Um, it just doesn't have the darker uh, shine as the new one. I used Mother's Mag and aluminum polish. You can see all the black I got off. And that worked well. There's that doll color. And then the part I polished, it looks, uh, well, it looks just like the new piece. Okay, this is the bottom, the original and the one in the center and the top are longer. So I think they make the new ones 380 millimeters. They're all the same so that you have to trim them. Like this one here probably doesn't need to be uh, cut at all, but this one definitely does. So I want to mark these, cut them, and then crimp them. 
I marked the first molding and I'm going to use this Dremel tool to cut off wheel. Got the piece cut off and now I'm going to crimp it the same size as that. I got the center screw in. That way it lines up the insert from left to right so I know if my crimp would be showing or not. Like that looks bad but when it gets tightened up it will go right in there and that looks nice. So I'm going to do the next two on this side. Got that one cut. And this one I'm going to crimp in the vise. I think I'd make a, a cleaner edge there. I used Mother's Make and Aluminum Polish on this frame. And this turned out really nice. I'll be painting them with this metallic Rust-Oleum. Kind of brighten them back up again. It's ready uh, for paint. First, I'm going to put on this adhesion promoter over plastic and then I'm going to put on a coat of uh, light gray uh, primer. Okay, here's the adhesion promoter. This stuff's really thin and it runs. So I usually hold the can pretty far back and I just give it uh, two light like dusting coats just to cover everything. I'm going to get uh, this flat gray primer on primer is dry and this paint is gloss so it dries a little bit slower and now I want to paint the front first coat is almost like a tack coat I'm just gonna put it on really light this first coat's been on here for about 25 minutes and it's dry to the touch so I'm getting ready to put on uh, like a double heavy coat and that should be enough the paint dried overnight it is gloss and it, I don't know I don't like it. it looks like it's dipped in plastic and it's darker but there's just hardly no contrast between the two oh, I just don't like the gloss gray it's like a battleship gray so I'm gonna go bold and go with the flat black Rust-Oleum 2X. There'll be a uh, higher contrast it won't be original but it's my car I can do what I want. Alright here's my second coat get all the moldings on and get it uh, on the car today. I did get uh, 12 grill moldings. These are what they look like. Mine didn't have any on because I've got these uh, alignment pins that they just slide over but I'm thinking of putting them into the center. They mount on the back of the grill right in that channel and then they just snap into these holes. Um, so as I got them, I'm going to use them. Okay, well there's the clips. And you start at the bottom, at the channel. And you just slide this over. And then we'll get that first clip started and then move it all the way up. I'm going to slide on the moldings. Mine didn't have clips and they were on there very tight so I'm not going to use them on here. You just start it and then you push it up. that yeah and I'm past this clip that holds it in right there and that gets covered with the frame so I'm gonna put the rest of them on now I 
just use a screwdriver to set it up and over that hook. You can still see there's gaps there and there. That's tight, that's in. I got the center screw in, so left to right, everything looks really good. But this needs to move up at least a half an inch. These are the clips that I cleaned up and painted. There's three of them. And they go from the top, one, two, and then three. And the short one goes on the bottom. You just snap them into place. Like that, they just click, they line up. And then the rubber pads go on. There's a ridge that goes on the outside. I'm gonna do the same with this side. There, and tighten up this eight millimeter. Well, there it is. I do like the black, I mean. We'll see what it looks like on the car, but that looks very nice on here. It's too bad I couldn't get this molding. It's almost too short, and it is a little beat up, but it's no longer available. The rest of the moldings look really nice. So I'm going to go and install this on the car now. Okay, well I got all the fasteners tightened down. I know it's not original, but I don't care. I think that just makes the whole front end of the car.